All right, I'm trying to remember if there were like any other obvious things that have been changed. <laughs> it has one HP, but fine. One attack. All right, we'll try. Maybe that'll be able to like punch through anyway. I probably do buy it some um, some bacon though, so it trades a lot better. Because like, if I'm only buying three things next turn without rolling, then I think it makes sense to try that. Never believing again. All right. Have fun losing all your balls. And unless I roll twice, I do get to save two gold, and it doesn't matter if I die. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that. Like, if we find another magpie, then that's worth it. Oh, what did I say? I'm debating whether I freeze both, though, because like this is going to be a long-term thing on our team, I think. So I don't mind investing a little bit more. But this is good. Like This thing is going to carry us, I think. Like, it's, it's going to be so big. Oh, yeah, it's going to stomp through this. I'd, wait, no, it's not, because they heal up so much. Okay. <laughs> it still did win, but I thought it was going to, like, hit everything once. The first hit was kind of awkward. All right, so we want to see what this is first. And it's a flying fish. You know what? I'll take that and just buy another one of these separately. And I could just end my turn here if I wanted to and save all my money. Which is exactly what I'm going to do for no reason. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's worth it. Okay, well, at least that's not really a problem. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's so good. My magpie actually, like, punched through everything. Did you see the bug where flying fish trigger the bear ability two more times? No, I heard something about, like... I imagine flying fish is the same, but I remember hearing that turkey... When a turkey buffs something, it acts like a summon or whatever it is that triggers the old bear ability. So then, like, if you had a bear and a turkey, then it would trigger on, like, every summon. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be changed now, because obviously bear is different now. Anyway, I need to work out what I'm doing, because, again, if we lose, I don't actually lose any HP, so I probably want to keep all my magpies, like, separate. Well, you know, save three gold for next turn. How can they not fix bear? They did fix bear! It's fixed! <laughs> There's a new bear! It is weird how they kept making mistakes, though. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to decide if, like, Silk Moth just isn't it. At best, it's 3 HP, and it has been paying out so far. I don't know, is there, like, a better way? I could just, like, buy and sell penguins, and it might hit that, and give me, like, a better permanent buff. I'd rather not buy bacon, though. Let's have a little roll. Alright, love that. One more. Ooh. Yes. Please, here or here. Okay, well that was kind of useless, I think. But, <laughs> sure. Alright, this is fine. I just need to make sure that we still have um, three gold. Which we do. Alright, let's rearrange it a little bit. Let's send it like this. How much will golden pack cost? I don't think they've said. It is a big one, though, so I imagine it might be the same as the last, the last one. So maybe $10, whatever it was. I can't remember the prices. It's been so long since I bought them. I bought them all, like, the first day, so I never, like, really looked at it. Anyway, Weasel. We could maybe go for a, a money build again. I just won't be doing macaques. I don't know. Like, these magpies do work with Bird of Paradise. I'd rather take a Weasel over like this, at the very least. So, yeah, let's get rid of that. Take one of these. And then, that only buffs you at the moment. It would buff the flying fish, but I don't know if I care. I think I do freeze it, because I'm probably not going to be buying avocados yet. I may do... Oh, that's what I want. Alright. Let's get rid of the penguin first, buy this. And then I'm probably selling the flying fish, because I'd rather all the buffs like, hit there. If I find another baboon, then I may go for that. Hmm. Unless I just like buy this and the lettuce and just kind of tank whatever happens. There's no reason to save gold with these yet if I'm, like, buying them anyway, so. Sure, this is... Oh, let's, let's roll a little bit. I'm not going to buy the lettuce this turn, at the very least. Come on, another one of these. Leave it there. Save one gold. Oh, and it hits it anyway, great. Maybe I should have been going for the, uh... The guy who buffs 1-2 for every 12 gold. But, <laughs> main... Thank you for the 5 months. Take my money. I got lazy trying my luck with gifted. 
Love you, Snake. <laughs> Thank you, Main. Thank you. Weasel never feels bad to use. I agree. It's kind of thing is, it's tier three. Like, I keep seeing people comparing it to Swan, and they're like, oh, it's just a much better Swan. But it's like, it's not objectively better. It's just like, it's a higher tier, so it's going to be better. It has like three more stats and potentially slightly worse ability early, but better later, because then you can like get extra triggers out of like mushrooms and I don't know, tigers and stuff. I really want to find another magpie or baboons. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if I like unfreeze this. Wow, this is like good crazy. Let's just buy some stuff. All right, so roll once. We actually did find a magpie, and I do want to combine next turn, so that's great. All right, hit the weasel again, and then we'll have no problems. Oh, yes. All right. Weasel only when. Who knows? I made a couple of packs before the stream today, so there are things. This is terrifying. That's a very big key. Mm-hmm. All right, so we lose one HP. Which is sad, because it's the first HP we've lost, but now we don't get to regenerate anymore. But, yeah, we're, we're combining. We do this. <laughs> we're not doing that. Be gone. I'm not doing a Falcon either, I think. But, like, what would I be doing with this team? Because there isn't really scaling. I, I get, like, putting a banana on everything is fine for now. Yeah, we, like, we need to find Birds of Paradise. That's the only way to make this team actually work. And again, we're not, we're not scaling anything. Is there a tier 4 that I actually want to have? Like, Manta Ray is fine. Cuttlefish isn't terrible. I can maybe just do like a Poison Dark Frog Slug just as something that's okay for the team. Yeah, sure. Look. There's a Slug. Uh, I'm getting rid of the Baboon because it's not actually going to be buffing anything good at the moment. And then let's see if we find anything else. We found a Weasel immediately. And a Silver Fox. Oh. Do I combine here too? Just to make room? Oh, probably. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Blue Ring Doctopus. Alright. There are so many things to do here. It's such a scary sound. That sound actually kind of reminds me of, like, the Backrooms monster. I've only just, like, pieced that together and what I was, like, my head was telling me that was. And I'm just going to send it like this. I'm going to try and get the Weasel to level 3. Like, I think we're keeping it, at least. Ooh. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried, but it was a perfect draw there. Yeah, we're, we're definitely buying this. Like, get stacked on there. I might keep this for a bit as well. I have no idea what doing with this slug, though. Like, it, it synergizes with things, but I don't think I care about having it on the team. Now, I could sell Blue Ring Doctopus, put Slug at the front, and put a Secretary Bird in front of this, and then we might be able to get some extra gold that way, because we'd get, like, two triggers. That'd be a, an extra 6-6 six, six on here. It might not be bad for one turn. I think that's fine. All right. So let's do that, and then just buy avocado, save the rest of my money. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good then. Super auto back rooms. Uh, how's this gonna look? They are going to be getting a lot. At least it's only level one, but I don't think we're going to push through. Actually, no, it's only ten attack. Never mind. Sadly, we only get one trigger out of the fox though. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of money here, though. Like, what is this? 18. 18. That's not bad. All right. We're buying this. I'd love a fox upgrade. Um, wouldn't mind some blue ring octopus as well, because we want to keep the magpie, the weasel, and the silver fox, like, forever. I don't know. Maybe I even take that. Macaques, if I only if I have three things on the team, might be worth it. I would much rather go for um, Birds of Paradise, but, you know, who knows when we're going to get a chance for that. Slug, no. <laughs> I may sell the secretary bird, buy sell oyster, and just pray that we can find something else. I don't know, like, the wolf just isn't a bad thing to swap in, but we have a lot of money. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get, like, a level up. And we did. I'd much rather this one. But if we get the bird of paradise right now, then that's worth so much more. Dude! Oh, I'm ready. I am so ready. <laughs> Alright, we take a bird of paradise. The slug is now the thing we do not care about. I'm debating buying avocados, because that's also pretty good about saving stuff. And wait, it's Jelly! Jelly Jammin, thank you for the four months. You're also ready. Very happy to hear that. Thank you. 
I don't know what to do. I don't I don't know if I want to sell the slug, but I don't care about buffing it. Like I think I just roll for chocolates, because again, this is efficient, but it's not as efficient as leveling this again. So let's roll a bit. At the very least, I let my magpie keep the money, but come on, just show me some show me some chocolates. And I'm not buying that. We want more birds of paradise next turn. Or whenever we can find it. And I'm buying this now because we'd be doing that anyway. Obviously we don't get to keep three gold, but you know. Actually, no, maybe I shouldn't have done that, because then I'd actually get to keep three gold and it would be an extra three, an extra one trigger for this, but who knows? Maybe it was worth it, maybe it wasn't. We're not that lethal yet, so <laughs> let's see. Oh, so did that actually trigger, or was that just like a lie? Literally couldn't tell. All right, seven trophies. Actually feeling pretty good about this one. <laughs> I almost want to get more magpies, but now nah, we try and level this, we try and find another one, and then we just like let everything in the middle do its own thing. So come on. There we go. I was hoping for another one. So one more roll and then it's going to buff the slug again, which I don't care. I don't I don't I don't like. I just roll. We need to level up the fox then. Like I'll probably buy avocados if we see it now, but Dude. <laughs> it just shows up immediately, okay. Alright. I actually think it might be worth buying this right now. Again, we do lose one gold like, worth of triggers for the Paradise Bird. But if we get extra gold from the level up, then it's worth more for us. So I may just buy this now and then start pushing it forward. So run it there. Hopefully, if we can get just... If we get like two triggers out of it, it's already like more than worth it. And it doesn't really matter if we lose yet either. Real silver foxes look so pretty. I don't think I've seen one. Stop it. Stop it. I don't like this team. I hate this team. Oh no. Alright. Yeah, we need to start scaling fast, please. So yeah, we don't need the slug. I could buy pretzels. It's only a 1-1, one -one, so I will definitely not be buying pretzels. I'd love to find another bird of paradise, though. We need something here, and I, I want it to be another one of these. Uh, I, I can't tell if it's worth it. I could keep it frozen, because I'm probably not buying anything else for a bit. Yeah, I'm going to keep it frozen. Like, I really want to see another bird of paradise, though. I'm just going to do this. I don't care. You don't need to buff anything. Just go crazy. Come on, bird of paradise. Please. I mean, <laughs> I'm fine running a four squad if I have to. I may have to leave that there this turn, though. Uh, okay. Okay. That's not great. But we are scaling pretty fast. Sadly, this might destroy us, because they're going to have like a 40-40 or something here. Almost. We do lose. Okay. So we're on lethal now. It looks weird with four lives. It is strange. I don't want to do <laughs> I want to keep this frozen. If we find another bird of paradise, then we can be so much stronger. But I don't know if it's worth just like buy selling everything from the shop just for no reason. Seven lives. If that was them, then people are saying that it's probably because uh, they were from an old patch. So like all the abilities are updated, but it's just a snapshot of a team from before. I, I don't want to. I have to unfreeze chocolate because now we need we need to not die, which means I need tomatoes. Yeah, those don't do anything. Still nothing. Oh, there he is. All right, that's what I wanted to see. And now I wish I still had my chocolate, but and I'm not buying and selling you. With we're, <laughs> we're done with that. All right, monkeys. It's possible, but it's not it. Uh, this couldn't be bad. That's pretty good, I think. So I'll throw that there at least. Uh, if I'm, if I don't think I'm going to die, then I definitely think it is worth buying avocados. So I'll buy an avocado. I could buy a, no, roll, roll twice. Just roll twice. Freeze that. I'm going to trust I won't die this turn, so I'm not going to buy it now. I'm going to let the magpie get full value. And you know what? I'm freezing avocado as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I pray, I pray this is enough. We are getting pretty big now. Oh, it's a grizzly team again. They don't have an insane amount of summons, so like maybe the fox will be fine. 
Oh, yeah, we're fine. All right. All right, good. <laughs> Being on lethal is never, never that nice, though. So we'll be putting this here. You're going to scale faster than the other bird, so... Yeah, you can definitely have that. Oh, yeah. I love the sounds as well. It's it's nice. Alright. Sure. We'll try and level that up. Have another one of these. I think I throw both to the front. And then roll twice. Pretty bread? No. No, no, no. We don't need any more of that. Uh, Send it this way, I think. But this is looking pretty good. This is a good money team. You need a tomato or two? We do now have two, but now that these things are getting so big... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was big enough to tank two shots, but yeah, we got him on the second one. Alright. One more. But yeah, now that these things are getting so big, we don't really need to... um. Yeah, like the Pit of Bread there is giving it like plus 16 HP, but it's going to be scaling a lot this turn. So yeah, we, we definitely want to replace stuff. I'm not buying this, like, it's fine, but nah. We don't need avocado anymore. Like, I'd still take the Bird of Paradise level up, but... Honestly, I just want, like, tomatoes on everything. Please. <laughs> I know I could be buying lettuce and it buffs those two, but... I don't care. I just don't care. Well. Uh, bye. Bye, definitely. Going to leave chocolate, because again, nothing's getting leveled up. And honestly, we probably just... No, we do buy another Pit of Bread, yeah. So, wait, how much is this going to happen by? So everything's going to get 2-4, uh, four, four, except for these two, which get 2-2. Two, two. I probably do still buy the Pit of Bread. Again, it's the final turn. Like, this spends gold, but we won't get it back next turn unless, um, you know, something happens. A draw. So I guess I throw it on here, because it'll make the biggest difference, but it's still a very small difference. It's like 8 extra HP. So, yeah, I'll just send that there. Send it there and send it. Should have bought avocado. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the final turn. Oh, this is nice. Those are good back snipes. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We barely even get to make any money, though. Yeah, that was good. That was a good run. Lovely money build. I actually used the magpie with the birds of paradise. As well as some other supporting <laughs> money dudes. Alright. Yeah, fun one. I liked it. And we don't have enough stuff for a thing there. Bird of Paradise is just super good. It's really fun as well. I love the scaling. Hold on, let me pay out the prediction. Anyone else having trouble connecting to the test server? I, I haven't had any trouble since it went like, live again. Summon teams are dead now. I'm still seeing quite a lot of them. Bear still seems very good, because I think people haven't, like, clued into um, tomatoes being, like, meta now to counter them. But yeah, if you have tomatoes on your team, then bear squads are usually not that worrying. Because most people have, like, default stat bears at the back, and they don't really do anything. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's get into another one. So we have, like, half an hour to the view lobbies. I'm taking it. I'm taking everything. Alright, let's see. Will it be the imported organisms? Bear's still good, but tomato's strong. Yeah, tomato is literally just like, it just gives you a crocodile trigger on like any pet you want. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It does have to actually like, oh. It does have to attack to get the value, but yeah, we're not, I'm not taking more geese. I'll take the level up, but that's it. But yeah, so it's, it's not like you can just like leave a load of tomato things at the back and just be like, oh yeah, we get to snipe five things right at the start, because there's a good chance you'll get like one snipe at the front and then you'll just get destroyed by a, by some other spammy sniper team. But it's, it's all good, I think. Honk game? No. I think there are cases where you could make goose work, but I don't think, I don't think you can in this pack. It just seems bad. I seem like a really chill person. Thank you. Goose just never works for you. I, I've, I've said this before. I, it was off stream, but I've had one game where Goose kind of works, and it did carry a load of rounds by itself. But in this pack, it just doesn't seem good. <laughs> early early rounds, sure. Like, I could see this doing a lot of work for us, but I don't think it's good in general. All right, so what am I looking for? I can maybe take Lizards, but it doesn't actually synergize with Mustox. 
Oh, maybe I do try and stack it up, get it to level three. No, we need door head ants and penguins. No, but we did find the door head ants. All right, I'm going to get rid of the silk moth. By you. Stop it. <laughs> I don't care about leveling this. More door head ants, please. All right, well, maybe this. I don't know whether I want that at the back or not, but I think I can trust it at the front. I'd at least tr like to try. What happens if you lose this time? There are no doubters. Wait, really? There are actually no doubters. 1.5k on believe is nothing on doubt. Interesting. And look at this! It actually did carry. I didn't see the fight, but apparently Goose did a lot of work. So your video from six months ago where you mentioned that you know St. Victor and that you are thinking about playing the Binding of Isaac, so are you? What? I mean, I know St. Victor. We're not like... He doesn't know me. <laughs> I think I used to watch him. And still watch a lot of like those dudes. I have played Isaac a couple of times, though. Once more recently. Like a three weeks ago, maybe? Soloed by a goose. It's the worst way to go. I'm just going to sell this now. Like, I don't care about its ability. It's fine, but I don't care. I just want more door head ants on my squad. More of these, please. I'm rolling it. They're out there, someone. Uh, I'd rather do this. Oh, one more roll first. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just going to buy that. We can combine next turn. Probably. I may not. I may keep them separate, but I probably do combine. If I can get a fun tier 4, then I think that would be much better for us. And look at this. The goose is actually going to clutch. Like, look! <laughs> so good. There was also a weird sound in between that sounded kind of like a, you know, Squidward tentacles kind of squelch. Can you direct me to said video? If you're talking about Binding of Isaac, then it's somewhat recent on my VOD channel. Like, within the last week, maybe, or two weeks, I'm not sure. Unstoppable? Yeah, it's like suddenly doing a lot of work. Alright, I'm going to combine these. I know it makes it slightly worse for the Mustocks, but I need to see what we get. And yeah, I don't care about it, Falcon. It's not bad, and it's obviously better than the Magpie at this stage, probably, but... Yeah, <laughs> let's look for... We found the level up immediately. Ooh, do I sell Magpie and then run this for a turn? We get quite a lot of gold. I think that's fine. Alright, so now we need to roll. I need to find... I mean, it's just like more door head ants, but I don't know when I'd buy them. Now, this is fine for now, but yeah. I'm going to throw this at the back now. Like, things are getting big enough that this will probably get one shot. I probably do want a baboon. Can maybe scale up that in a couple of turns time as well. Oh, hydrate? Did I miss one? There's no hydrates. I haven't seen Super Auto Pets in like six months. You have no idea what's happening. It looks like a whole new game with... I don't know what VTD graphics are. Oh, Balloon's Tower Defense, maybe? It's fun. This is a new pack, though. There's been a lot of changes. Like, they've, re they've revamped all the backgrounds. They've added, like, a ton of new hats. A uh, whole new pack of new pets. Lots of other changes that <laughs> I don't know about. Six months is a long time, and a lot's happened. Anyway, I'm debating whether I take this to buff my Mustox, which I probably do. Could maybe get rid of the Goose as well. I'm going to freeze this. Can I afford? Yeah, they're going to hit it. I can feel it. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to like buy an avocado, buy one of these. And I'm trusting I'm trusting that at least one of these baboons will hit the mustox. I know the manta ray is not going to do anything. I don't really mind. And they didn't. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Chris, hello. Western Canada, huh? Uh, well, that doesn't cause us problems. It's a draw, at least. Did <laughs> someone mention Bloom's Tower Defense? I need to play that again. When's the when's the seventh game going to come out? I should play Bloom's Tower Defense 6. I think I... Okay, if it goes on sale, and I hope it will, because I swear it goes on sale all the time for, like, 90p, but... Well, you know, like, 90% off, and it's, like, a pound or something, but... Yeah, I think I will get it the next time I see it on sale, and then I may do a stream for it, because I played a ton of Bloom's Tower Defense 4 and 5, Mostly five, but yeah. Anyway, I think I get rid of Manta Ray because I kind of like having lots of things on the team and we can buff up a slug for now. 
Right, so I think all this works. We need to find a monkey for you or a banana. Oh, sure. <laughs> I, I see the poison dart frog, but I like never run mustoxes. That's like, oh, well, you know, consistently all the way through. Let's see if we can like keep this on the squad. And. Nah, I mean, I could like maybe combine those later, but. Oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let's keep these frozen. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. I probably combine next turn just to make everything clear, but this is nice. The boon scaling on tier sixes feels really good. I also oh that that sucks. <laughs> I also haven't really done like baboon scaling properly before. It's always something that I pivot off of like after a few turns. Alright, we're fine. Kino will return to monkey and pop balloons. I actually saw a video recently of like some first person balloons tower defense game. Like it was a fan made game, but it was it looked really well made. I actually want to try that. Should be m Monday for Cyber Monday. Yeah, because like today's Black Friday, Friday, right? I assume. It's like late, late November. Probably. I've, I've seen the sales on for ages, but I don't know how long they last. There's a cult for increasing the per a social relationship between you and your audience. What? I do know that there's like a, a cult thing. But anyway, this. Wait, do I buy the baboon first? I don't know if there's something I can get that would benefit from me buying the oysters later, but. I don't think there is, but I'm doing it anyway. Alright, crane. That will work well with the mustox, I feel. Or I like protect it, and then I can buff up the crane next turn. What what else would I want? If I find a silver fox, that's probably really nice to buff up. Hmm. The problem is that's like the only other thing I'd want to buff up. Like I don't actually care about buffing a crane, but it is a good pet. And see you later, noob master. Cranes and sap, yeah. It's nice. I may get it anyway, it's pretty strong, so. I'll just like throw this here. I'm probably going to buy an avocado. Let's like roll a bit first though. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Keep rolling, stop. Too many. Alright, okay. So we get to save our money. I'm definitely craning the mustox, because that's what's going to need it. Uh so yeah, next turn is going to buff the crane if I don't find something better. You never see anyone use fire ants. I actually got to win. I haven't decided whether I'm going to post it to my main channel or the VOD channel, but I got to win off stream uh, with a double Fire Ant build. And it was a flawless, I think, but the build itself was very janky. <laughs> I don't think it was insane. Oh, it's not that good, but it does show us a tier 6. <laughs> oh god, Highland Cow with a Baboon? There's actually synergy there. Dude, we can do something. I think I get rid of door hat ant. I think the crane stays. Because that's only like one trigger for this, and it is quite big, but... I think we can sell door hat ant, buy this, and then we just roll for chocolate and try and like buff... Well, or the crane. Let's do something now. Alright. Mm. Uh, you don't need to be there yet, though, because you're not going to get buffed. So, let this be behind the mustox for now. And then we're rolling for cranes and chocolates, and I think that's it. I could maybe try and level the... The shark, the nurse shark. I know I just rolled one. I need to decide if I'd actually be bothered. Freeze the crane. Don't care about Nyala. I'm going to be using this. Alright. Highland Cow Baboon is stonks, agreed. I'm glad I have agreement. It definitely sounds amazing. Uh, this shouldn't be too much trouble, right? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Is the giant chocolate still a thing? No, <laughs> no, that was like a, a bug for one week a long time ago. What, what am I keeping on this team? Because like, I can get this, I can probably... If I hard roll for chocolates, I can probably level this up this turn, which I probably do want. But then what else am I going for on the team? Like, we have the baboon, we have the highland cow. Everything else is expendable. So what am I... What else do I want on the team? Like, do I want Nurse Sharks? Do I leave this? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna wait to see what I can find. Let's... Let's try. Let's try a Nurse Shark then. So I'm gonna get rid of this. It might... Yeah, that'll get buffed by the Baboon. <laughs> God, it's like hospital beeps. 
Uh, this is happening. I'm going to leave the other baboon. That's not worth anything. <laughs> We're going for level 3, baby. Let's go. All the way. Okay, so starting next turn, we start buffing this really hard. And then I just need to give it, like, cherries or something, and then we're going to be set. Actually, no, cherries doesn't really do anything, right? Because that'll just be, like, plus one. It won't be multiple triggers. For some reason, I thought it would work like the, um... Whatever it is. I can't remember what the bird's called. There's a tier three bird that generates stuff every time it takes damage. But this is just a start battle based on its HP. Oh, <laughs> that was lucky for us. Alright, excellent. Level 3, baby, let's go. Yeah. I'm ready for it. I mean, I could put a tomato on it. Like, it doesn't really... Oh, wait, no, pita bread. Pita bread, though. Pita bread. We need pita bread on it. I can, like, put something else somewhere else. Like, maybe put that on there, throw it to the front. It'll keep us alive, but I'm also kind of scared that we're going to win too fast. And guinea pal? Yeah, that's it. Add eggplant to it. No, it's the stats aren't enough. Like, if I sell these two, which I'm planning on... Well, even if I don't, we still get, like, more out of Pretzel. But, yeah, I'd love to put Pita Bread on this. I'd love to get a Nurse Shark level up. I think doing this and throwing that at the front would be amazing for us as well. I'm just going to start with that. Honestly, we're probably going to win before we get a chance to <laughs> show this off too much. Uh, I could maybe start selling these. Like, sell the Mustocks, buy sell Octopus, just for some extra stats on here. But there's, like, a hard roll for levels and stuff. You know, on these, not really this, just these two. More. <laughs> More for this. Alright. So yeah, this is all still fine. Excellent. Did I start with 4 HP? I did, yeah. There's a new HP system, so... Everyone starts with 4. You lose 1 HP for every loss, regardless of the round. But you also gain 1 HP at rounds 3 and 5 if you've lost HP. So... <laughs> it's a little confusing to what it used to be. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> level 2 Nushark is more important than level 3 Cow. I, uh, it's the final turn probably though. Fine. Nushark. Bears. I don't care about any of the rest of this. We're probably about to win. Okay, so... Oh, see, we could have had it. Where do I ch how do I change the order for this team, though? Do I do it like this? I mean, I guess I could do it like that and it'd still work. I think that's fine. And Flawless Run. It is... Wait, is it Flawless? I can't remember if we took damage early and then regenerated it, so it might not have been. But yeah, I'll send it like this. I'm trusting that the Nurse Shark is going to get better value than the, you know, <laughs> like a 40-40 or whatever we'd get out of that. Even more than a 40-40. Cherry Cow. That'll only give it, like, 1-1, one, one, though. Like, it's it's not worth it. Putting Pit Bread on there would have been good. Or would have been fine. At this stage, it probably doesn't actually do that much. Because I think it is, like, nearly capped out. Except it's not, because there's two Trumpets for every 2 HP this has. So it's, like, 1-for-1, one one, which is kind of a weird way to phrase it. <laughs> but yeah. We've done it. And wow, look at that. Look at that insane Nurse Shark. <laughs> Just suicided with nothing there. But yeah, pretty, pretty clean run. And it looks like we weren't flawless because we did regenerate a heart. How do lives work now? I missed the start of the stream. Uh, I'll explain it in a second, but yeah, fun run. Oh, what's the time? Yeah, 22. Kind of flawless. Uh, basically, you start with 4 HP, and then you lose 1 HP for every loss, and you get a heart back at rounds 3 and 5 if you've taken damage. So you kind of have a couple of, like, opportunities to lose HP at no cost early on. But all all stuff hurts just as much all the way through, so. Yeah, not bad, though. Let me pay out the thing. And yes, the Beavers did get their money, so don't have to worry about uh, where the, the balls go. So not the Perpet with 3 cap anymore. No, they've, like, completely changed it. Because, like, the old one, you know, like, the, the current one on the main game... Or rather, sorry... The one that was here before this one is the same as the one on the live game, but they added another lower cap. So that was just a, you know, it's the it's the lowest of either three, your current shop tier, or the number of pets alive. But this one is just like, it's being completely changed. I like the old one. I feel like it just needed a bit more tweaking, maybe. Like, maybe just like start with eight hearts and have the old system. And Shark would have done... 
46 damage to two things. But there were no things to do damage to. The team was too good. Let's go, though. Uh, I don't like early trumpets, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the possum and leave that. Alright. Let's take these, and we're going to be the green ponies. And no problem. That's, that wasn't a good explanation, but... You'll see. I'll, like, try and point it out, because there is definitely... Like, there are reasons to almost throw rounds now. Like, if I find magpies here or something, it may be worth just, like, taking magpie and... Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Although, like, I can take this, I can save one gold, and that is worth something, but... Huh. Let's roll. I'm gonna roll twice, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Fine. We keep the chipmunk. Roll again. Send it. So yeah, if I lose this round, I'll immediately get my health back. We actually might lose this round. No, they didn't actually heal us, so we get to win. Alright. Never mind. How am I liking the new pack? I'm enjoying it. There's obviously still, like, balance changes, but... Yeah, so far, everything's, like, great. And this has been changed as well. Like, they, they just nerfed it, I think. So I think it used to be deal 2 damage to everything summoned and, like, heal plus 1 plus 1. Chipmunk is better in customs, in my opinion. Yeah, but at the same time, if I just, like, keep this until round four and then, like, get three bananas, then that's probably pretty good for me. So I'm going to take more of these. I, just, I don't think the fly catches it. Like, there's no early summons. It's fine late, but most of the problems from summoning builds isn't the summons themselves. It's the stuff like the poison dart frog and the bear. Although, oh, never mind. It actually will kind of work with them against the bear. Yes, excellent sound. <laughs> hey, another level up. Great. Okay, we can like send everything how it is then. So this is unlikely to do anything yet. Because I think the only summon people can have at this stage is the lizard tail, which no one touches. But, you know, maybe something will happen. They should have buffed fly catcher damage and removed heal. I don't really know. It just feels weird that now it's just like a higher tier iguana, right? Like, I think that's what it is, except Iguana also triggers on pushes, so it's, it's just weird. Uh, let's see. Do I... Again, I heal if I lose this turn, so I may sell Possum and then double buy Magpie separately and go for both combos next turn. Alright, let's just do that. Now, the question is whether I... I get one roll either way. Let's just freeze Bacon. Oh, <laughs> this is buy this, alright. Buy that, unfreeze Bacon, and then just send it. Okay. You like Lizard Tail early game? I just don't know how to get it to work. I haven't tried it that often, but I I never feel like I'm in a position to use it well. And yeah, here's an example. So we're on max HP at the moment. We take one damage. Even though we lost to four things and whatever. But then it's turn five, and we instantly get our HP back. It's, it's strange. <laughs> All right. That's not a level up. Oh, that wasn't good. I maybe shouldn't have done that yet. Alright, Psyker Antelope. I think that is worth taking just by itself. If I find a cherry or something, that's pretty good. And you know what? I'll take that. I don't think I'm going to buy lettuce. I really do want a cherry. <laughs> Let's buy that. Alright. And we can save one gold. I think that's fine. Let's just send it forward like this. Lizard Tail Ribbon. I don't think I'd try and do that in this pack. Although I don't think you can do it here, because you can't. I don't think you can inflict, like, you know, trigger hurt effects in your in your team in the shot phase. I might be wrong, but I don't think you can do it. That's the neat part, it never works. But that makes it bad. <laughs> so turn 3 and turn 5 only then. Yes, I think so. Around 3 and 5, you get health back. Yeah, if you've lost HP, then on rounds 3 and 5, then you get 1 HP back. But if you... You know, if you're running a perfect game, you don't get anything, and... Yeah, I think those are the only notches. Anyway, I have three things I want to buy, and we do get to save some stuff, so this isn't bad for me. Yeah, okay. So, maybe someone got an early slug, and we can snipe that. <laughs> it's not that likely, though. Oh, those are great trades for us. That's less cool, but I think we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. You'll test Lizard Tail. And then it says, like, Ion Shop right now. But I don't know what that means. I, I know you can do it in Customs. What I mean is I don't think you can do it in here. Like, I, I don't know how you'd do it. 
Uh, anyway, we are combining. I want to see... What do I want to see? I don't know, a wolf maybe? Just because it's like synergy with this. But let's go, a crane. Alright, I think a crane is worth taking at the very least. Like, we can just throw that here. I am also kind of tempted to do meerkats, but again, it's just, it's a bit late and it's inconsistent. Like, if it misses the few things that you do care about on your team, then it's just bad. So, yeah, I'm going to run it like this. I'm going to be looking for banana. Yes. Alright, great. And I'm just going to buy this and let that save me some money for a turn. Okay, so we also get another trigger from the banana for the Saiga. So this is pretty good. So the bird is like a piggy bank. Yeah, it, it like spends the rest of your gold at the end of the turn, and it gives it back to you at the start of next turn. You know, you know, up to one gold at level one, two gold, level two, three, level three. Uh, but it does count as spending, so it does synergize with things like Bird of Paradise and the Meerkats. Because, like, you can just, you know, save your gold, so, like, you know, you don't spend it, and then it'll spend it for you and give you back the gold next turn, so it just makes it, like, very efficient. By itself, it's interesting as well, because you can save gold from earlier rounds and give it to you, like, on, on a higher round. Like, maybe you only spend, you know, I don't know, <laughs> spend seven gold on round four, but then you can have, like, 13 on round five, so. There are good reasons to have it. I really want to find, like, Magpie and Royal Flycatcher for next turn, though. Chipmunk as well. We just need, we need these level ups. And this one as well, I guess. And we don't need more bananas, because whenever we sell the chipmunk, we're going to get three, assuming we can level that up. Freeze it. Next turn. Right. Uh, I could, like... No, get one more roll anyway. Let's keep rolling. <laughs> I need the level ups. Nothing. All right. I was really hoping to find another one. I might bought um, avocado if I saw it. I think we did see one, like, very early in the round, but... I was greedy. I wanted to roll more. This isn't looking great for us. Okay, there we go. We have two combinations. Uh, another Highland Cow, maybe? Oh, well, now we have to! Huh. Do I... One Trumpet for every two HP this has. I think I do stack them. I'm debating what I get rid of, though. It's probably the chipmunk. Yeah, get rid of chipmunk, double buy these, then we can save three gold for next turn, and I can just, like, put monkeys on everything. Seems fine. Oh my god, I forgot how it worked! Oh, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting everything to get replaced, but I should have expected it. Also, that's only good if it doesn't insta-die. Whatever. Alright. I think I... Yeah, no, we buy this this turn, but I keep the chocolate frozen. But I'm going to let the magpie save me some gold, I think. And the cobra. I don't know how we're going to have big things on the team, though. Like, we already have a trumpet build. I'm going to leave cobra, I think. Is faint ability different from before faint? I mean, yes, because otherwise they wouldn't do it, but I don't know how to describe it past, you know. It's just the order of operations. Like, <laughs> before faint triggers before faint, but it is a faint ability. So, I, I don't know the specifics and, like, which ones are better, but it's, yeah. There's a reason for it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, I'm buying it. I don't think... I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but I am buying it. And Wildebeest. I haven't actually tried this properly yet. I've only had, like, one on my team so far. Before attack, spend eight trumpets and gain coconut perk. Works one time in battle. So I could maybe get rid of the crane or something, and then just throw that in. And we need to work out how we're going to um, scale something else. Let's get rid of the flycatcher, but like that is just a hard counter to you know bear teams. I just don't know how many people are going to be running those. So trumpets give you a super dog. They do. There are also things that spend it for you, like the wildebeest that spends trumpets. There's a tier one that spends it. The tamarind. Uh, there is this, the nurse shark, which spends all of your trumpets and deals damage, but if you don't have things that spends your trumpets, then when you have one pet left, then instead of, um... Well, yeah, basically you have one thing left, and then all of your trumpets will get automatically spent, and they'll just summon a golden retriever with those as stats. So, ten trumpets, you get a ten ten golden retriever. I, I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of the flycatcher, but... <laughs> I don't think I can. Alright, let's get rid of the crane. I'm gonna play this. I definitely want to keep the Highland Cow, so I'm gonna try for that first. Try for that first. 
And yeah, I guess I'll save my money. Is that where I roll for chocolates? But I don't know. Honestly, don't know which would be better here. Probably don't want to change order a little bit though. <laughs> New animals, Pog. It is very Pog, yeah. Oh, they replaced one of my things. At least they do have a bit of a sniper build, but I don't know. There's a good chance they'll snipe my guy before I can snipe their um slug. Or, you know, before it does good work for me. Yeah. Alright. Is the 10 10 enough? It is! It's a win even! There's no way to get a golden retriever during setup. I don't think so. But it's <laughs> Shoop! Shoop Nasty! Thank you for the tier one! Very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, but yes, I haven't really tried it, but. The only way I could think of getting it is with stuff like, where is it, the stilt? But again, I, I don't know, I, I feel like someone would have done it if you could. Like, you know, pill a stilt, get some trumpets, then either sell or pill or kill other things on your team somehow, just to get down to one pet and see if it would summon. But I haven't, I've heard people say that it doesn't work, and I haven't seen anyone show any proof that it does work, so I assume that it doesn't work. Anyway, I'm tempted to do this, but we still don't have any scaling for it. So, I don't know how good that is for us. Let's try Wildebeest. I want a Wildebeest on my team. Uh, don't care about this. Let's roll. Alright, we can do this as well. <laughs> sure. Uh, we need to get rid of the Antelope at some point. Like, we don't have any summons, and I don't want to go for a summon team. I could Cobra behind the Wildebeest. That might not be terrible. But again, we don't have any scaling. I, I need to get like rid of the magpie and get a bird of paradise or something. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run it like that then. No, <laughs> level three golden retriever. I don't know. Maybe some maybe someone somebody would work it out, or maybe there'll be like a bug and you will be able to get it. I doubt it, but it's all possible. A value. <laughs> I like it. Wait, that is actually so good. It triggers, like, every time. I thought this would be, like, a, you know, every other hit or something. Or, like, you know, after it hits or whatever. But that is literally before every attack. So it can't take damage if it has enough, like, trumpets and interactions to continue trying. Damn. Okay, I think I'm going to sell the magpie. Because it's not doing that much. And I do need to swap in other things. And, you know, buying something like this isn't too bad. So let's just get started on getting stuff on this team. And I could level this, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So I'm going to pump that there, because I'd love to get that to level 3. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if we even have enough trumpets for this, but I'll trust it. And I can't even change the order if I wanted to. So, yeah, we kind of have to leave this how it is. Uh, send it again. I, I don't know if that's worth it. Hold on. What do we have? 666. Six, six. Oh, no. <laughs> 3, 4. So I could maybe get rid of the flycatcher and then buy some pretzels for this, and that'd be pretty good for us. Uh, I'm gonna take this. A quitter would be pretty good as well, but I don't know. We need actual scaling somehow, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. And baboon isn't it? <laughs> it's too slow. Yeah, we're only getting 14 trumpets from the first guy. Like, we could get way more trumpets if I was just, like, buying every slug and thing I see from this. But yeah, <laughs> this cover is, like, doing nothing. This is, like, mosquito spam. This, though, is doing something. Damn. That hurts. Okay. I think we just get rid of the cobra. Cobra is not going to work. Which is very sad. I also don't know if I want to get rid of the flycatcher, because it is doing good work. I don't know, this is, this is no way, because like, even if I buy like Warthogs and stuff, I don't have a way to scale anything. I would have to be Bird of Paradise. I, I can't, I don't know if I can afford to get rid of that. I don't know what to do. No, oh, look, fine, I'm just going to stop buying these again. Okay, so that's almost level 3, and level 3 would be good for that. Again, the Cobra is just bad. Like, it may even actively be bad if you're going against, like, um, her triggers. Which, I don't think there's going to be many, but it's possible. I hate that. Yeah, this, this is going to be rough for us, I think, because we don't have a way to hit the Grizzly. 
<laughs> yeah, even with all of this stuff going on, it's, it's not really that good for us. Okay. Yeah, this, this run is just going downhill, because there's, there's, there's nothing. There isn't a, a save for it. I could take a Nyala, but it's not as good as just, like, leveling this anymore. Uh, I could definitely... I could Pitter Bread, but it's only, like, 8 extra. <laughs> Scaling is just so much better. Oh, I'm doing it. I want to pivot off the... Off this at some point, and yeah, the... The bird that scales this guy, Paradise thing, it is non-existent, so we can't get that going. I could be buying lettuce and it hits all three of these. Alright. Well, let's see if we're dead. That was only minus one heart for four opponents. It's a new health system. It's in the title. There's been lots of changes. You start with four and lose one HP per loss. And yeah, <laughs> you just can't beat meta. Like, we, we again, we didn't have any good stuff for this, because... Oh damn, it was almost close, but... <laughs> Sound a 1-1. One, one. Alright, we're dead, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's actually not bad timing, though, because that's like three minutes to the hour. Seven trophies. Just realized that lizard tail has a smiley face on it. I know, and it's so cute. It's good. Alright, let me pay that out, and then I'm going to take a quick break. When I get back is view a lobby time. Alright, I'm going to speedrun this. Have your orb. I'll be back two minutes. <laughs> 